What's up, everyone? This is El Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Let's Go Eevee! Last time, we managed to get make our way back to Lavender Town with a oscilloscope in hand. After identifying the true identity of the giant spirit blocking the way, I managed to put the vengeful spirit of Marowak to rest. And after a little scuffle with Jesse and James, we were able to rescue Mr. Fuji and got the polka flute. In this episode, we have plenty of options that we can potentially go to. We can either head on into Saffron City and try to take down Team Rocket, who has taken over the entire city, or we can go down one of two paths to make our way down to Fuchsia City. Um, any of these paths will bring us into, uh, trainers and Pokemon that are about our level, so uh, it's not exactly that big of a deal to really go after one or the other. Or the other, since there's three options. Uh, however, I am made my way on over to Saffron City first. Uh, because I want to try to do the Sylph Co. now. And, oh. Looks like Jesse and James are already here. And we'll see whether or not that we can actually take on the trainers here. I want to say yes, but we'll see. Just let us through already! No way. Only authorized members are allowed. I was told to let no one else in. How can you say that when we're on the same side? How rude! You deny a beautiful girl what she wants? Move it already! Hey, Jesse, wait for me! Well, that makes things easy. He blacked out standing up. Well, thank you, Jesse and James, for opening the way for your company's demise. And now we are at the self Co. You there! I have to tell you that our office is a bit of a disaster right now. A real disaster! This is no place for kids, not when there are so many dangerous people around. Aw, oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. You wouldn't even let us have a little look around. Oh, you, you're blue! THE blue! Hey, Destro, I've been looking for you. What are you doing in a place like this? Well, Team Rocket... No surprise. Those Team Rocket goons are causing trouble all over the place. You and me are on the same wavelength, Fallout. We can't believe- We can't keep letting Team Rocket do whatever they please. Yeah, we have to stop them. Come on, it's time we did a little strategy planning. So in short, plan is this. Destro is gonna drive Team Rocket out of Silphco, just like he planned. But it'd be crazy to try something like that alone, so Fallout is going with him. Right. While you pipsqueaks do that, I'm gonna do a loop around all of Kanto, squashing out Team Rocket wherever I find them. One of us is sure to find out where their boss is hiding. And while I'm at it, I'll swing by the Pokemon League to tell the bigwigs there what's going on. Awesome! You think the Elite Four might come help us? Maybe. So, that's the battle plan, guys. Time to split up and put into action. <laughs> if only we're that simple. Fact is, there's one more thing we've got to do here first. Destro, Fallout. If you want me to leave this place up to you two newbies, then prove that you're up to the task. What? I don't care who goes first, so show me what you've got. So, yeah, before we can really do anything... We need to battle against Blue. Oh, wow. I can't even grab that item that's really obviously standing right there. Or sitting right there. Uh, 
<sighs> How do I want to do this first? Well, I guess Minato wouldn't necessarily be a bad starter. And this would actually be a pretty good indication as to whether or not I'm actually capable of doing this. So, we'll go with that then. So, you are my first challenger, huh, Destro? Yep. And that's what I like to hear. Here I go! Okay, so blue only has two Pokemon. First Pokemon, Executor! Okay... Level 38?! Oh, this is bad. I figured it would be quite a bit lower than 38. Okay, he's using light screen. That is better. Okay, okay. Go for a headbutt. Nice. Uh oh. Ooh. Okay, that hurt. But I think we're still good. Yeah! Okay, down goes Executor. Okay, maybe this was a bad idea. Last Pokemon. Charizard! Okay. Let's go with Futaba. I am scared. I am super scared. I am really freaking scared. Alright, and what's this Charizard? Charizard is... Level 40! Air Slash. Ooh! That did a lot. Burn. Oh, wait, no, it's a fire type. Shoot, I can't burn it. Oh, an air slash. Ooh. I don't have anything that really resists flying. Ah, crap. Oh, this is bad. And I think air slash has a pretty decent chance to crit, too. Ah, who has. Who has decent special defense? I mean. I suppose I could use Adria. Vitala Special Defense isn't the greatest. Kyria specializes it, but it's lower. Maya has a Bane in that. Minato's already weakened, even though his Special Defense is pretty good. And Ravrina, also somewhat decent and comparable to Futaba. Ugh. Let's go with Adria. And Reflect War off. Okay. Oh, that means it's gonna do more damage. Uh-oh. Crap. Uh, well, I have super potions. Let's see how much it would do. Let's see. So it dealt about 50 or so damage. Yeah, just about. An air slash isn't a move that tends to miss, I don't think. That's a risk. That's a huge risk. Hmm. I'll use a regular potion. <sighs> no, if he gets a crit. That's what I'm scared about. <laughs> I... I made the wrong call. Risk it. Yes, Adria! It's not 100% accurate! Yes! Oh boy! Okay. Okay, I might be able to do something. 
currently confused, so I'm going to heal up Adria to make sure that she doesn't faint. I can get that Charizard to hurt itself in its confusion. I can put up a substitute, and that would help out a lot. Crap. There's a little less. Uh, substitute. Crap! Ugh. Okay, put on a substitute. Hopefully the substitute can take a hit. Well, I use... No, not a super potion. I need a hyper potion for this one. Okay, that heals up Adria. Hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself. Yes! Alright, dishing out chip damage. Dark Pulse. Still confused. Yay! Yes! Let's go for a Dark Pulse! Almost, 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 almost. I've almost got this. Dark Pulse again. I uh, snapped out. And the substitute faded. But that's good! That's good! It did its it did its purpose! Yeah! Oh, and I was the one that got a critical! Ha-ha! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! I was scared! Exactly what I expect from a Palatown trainer. Okay, we are not doing self-kill right now! Aw, oh, man. You really are ready for Team Rocket. I feel pretty good about leaving this place in your hands. And your next Fallout, come at me. I'm just getting warmed up. <sighs> okay. So now we can explore Silvco. If we really wanted to. I, however, am super scared after having to do that. So. Rather than risk my Pokemon in this awful place. So I am going to take a major detour and not do this. Instead, what I'm going to do. Hey there, Minato. Is play with Minato a little bit. He likes me even more now. Oh. High five. High five. <laughs> oh! He got me a present. I got a gold leaf. No trees with this leaf have ever been found yet. Holy crap, thank you, Minato! I'm actually curious as to what this thing, I mean, usually the type of things that Minato gives, I think they're just useful for selling, but that kind of looks promising. Also, I'm going to buy more healing items. Maybe try to sell a few things. Uh, let's see, gold leaf. I mean, no, it, it seems like it would be more expensive than 500, but sadly it isn't. Um, I don't think, yeah, I don't really have much that I can sell, to be honest. However, I will buy more healing crap. I am going to make sure I have 20 super potions. And a hell of a lot more hyper potions. Okay, I think we are good. Oh, okay. I completely forgot that fight was there. And yeah, yeah, we're we're not gonna do that. Also, why am I running? I have the ability to fly. And I actually haven't shown off the ability to fly yet. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Sorry, Minato, but we need to sky dash. So we are going to head on over to Well, actually, this would be faster. Heading on over to Vermilion City. And away we go. 
actually thinking about it, I think it still would be a bit of a difficult fight considering the obstacles that stand in our way. Uh, I also need to heal real quick. I'll be back. I'm actually a little bit cautious because even though that was a bit of a difficult fight, I mean, what's coming up that would be blocking our way are also not exactly cakewalks either, now that I think about it. But... Hmm. I mean, I don't exactly have anything particularly good, so... I think I may just stick with Adria. I mean, I did also switch Adria to the front of the party. Not exactly the greatest in regular defense. Um, but aside from maybe potentially paralyzing, I, I guess I have Golduck, but that's not the greatest of options to try to do. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try Adria. Or... See, what has me a little bit worried is that I'm pretty sure the Pokemon that's blocking our way, and you all know what it is, is about level 40. And, like, I don't exactly have the best thing to do. I'm just not sure what I want to do, to be honest. You know, blue might have scared me a bit. But I don't think the rest of the grunts will be anywhere near as bad. So I think since I've already accomplished this, I think I should just head straight on over to Silphco and just do this. I've already taken care of the barrier that was primarily being in our way. And I'm wondering if maybe I can take out one of my other Pokemon while I'm here. And I can't? Seriously? I don't understand why I couldn't bring out Lavrina, but this doesn't seem like a place that would restrict Maya or anything. Oh, well, I can bring along Kyria. Okay, that works. Okay, so, Silphco, for those of you who are not quite familiar, Silphco is a teleportation maze through about 11 stories. There's a lot of floors that need to be traversed, and some that can only be accessed via warp panels. So, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a trial. I think I'm gonna have Minato out on front. But we will see how tough these trainers are. Obviously, we're not gonna get through everything today, considering how long the battle with Blue was and how much I dilly-dallied on whether or not I actually want to be here. But we can at very least traverse here a little bit and see what all is here. Oh yeah, level 33. Okay. Yeah, we'll be fine. Oh, you jerk. Okay, yeah, so blue was a bit rough. But thankfully, the rest of these trainers shouldn't be nearly as bad. Well, hopefully not all of them are able to use Sucker Punch, because that's a really freaking annoying move. Hey, but Adria leveled up. I goofed! Well, what do they have to say? Eh, I'm pretty much just saying we're taking over Silco. Uh, I'll be back to him a little bit later. Um, go ahead and get a bottle of fresh water right here. So yeah, you can see, like, warp panels like that are here as well. And those will allow us access to more areas. However, we also need a car key, card key in order to get through these doors. So, yeah, a bit of a ways to get through. And a lot of different ways that we need to explore. And I don't even... Like, I don't even remember just what exactly the correct route is. So, we'll see. Alright, level 33 coughing. Uh, I'm gonna put it... Use a baddie bad. Raise up my physical defense a bit. Clear smog. Okay. 
Thankfully, I didn't put up any stat changes on myself. And then I hit you with a headbutt. Perfect. And you don't use self-destruct. Next Pokemon, another coughing. I'm going to switch on over to Kyria. Because Kyria is really freaking quick. And also Kyria can use a little bit more experience. Also level 33. Also not going to be an issue. Unless you have Sucker Punch, which honestly I would expect like all these Pokemon to have Sucker Punch at this point. I mean, hey, all the ghost Pokemon did. Last Pokemon, another coughing! Cool, not gonna be an issue. Also level 33. Also going to be killed by my Kadabra. No problems whatsoever. Eh, no level ups. But, not too big of a deal. Okay, well we have this guy over here, and at the very least, scientists tend to have very similar Pokemon, so I'm gonna switch on over to Adria. It's off limits here. Go home! I don't know why a scientist would be speaking like this. Don't judge a book by its cover. Alright, his Pokemon is an Electabuzz! Okay, I was expecting Magnemite, not an Electabuzz. Alright, well, thankfully, I have a ground type. So, unless he has a move like Swift, it won't really do much to Maya. Alright, let's go for a dig. Yeah. And honestly, I'm not really that scared about Swift. Thunderbolt's something I'm a lot more scared about. But Swift, I can take a Swift. Swift isn't going to be that big of a deal to me. Alright, a lot of experience, almost a level up for Maya. But it was a level up for Lavrina. I don't know how he broke his glasses. Thought it was that intense. Anyway, we find an X attack. Alright, so we do have a lot of these warp panels, and is this readable? Yeah, it isn't readable. Why are these notes not readable? Good job, Kyria. Alright, well, I know we eventually have to use the warp panels, but I don't think it's necessary. Well, I mean, there's plenty of different warp panels that we can use. But I'm just gonna head up the stairs normally and face off against the uh, normal trainers that we can go up against that don't necessarily rely on having to warp. What am I to do? Surprised he's not necessarily being held hostage. Uh, let's see, what all, let's see, we need a key card for that. There's an item right over here. With an X special defense. Cool. Uh, let's see, Team Rocket grunt right there. Uh, oh, Adri's out in front. Yeah, sure, Adria will be fine. You'll really be in our way! Yes, such a, such a fantastic comeback. Mwah. Anyway, your Pokémon is a Haunter! Cool, I can totally deal with that! Cause my Adria knows a Dark-type move. And of course you have Sucker Punch, because of course you do. Oh well. Adria gets a little experience, and Maya levels up. So does Minato. I give! Alright, well we are running pretty much out of time, so I'd like to at the very least uh, get through what I can can on this floor, which might be, yeah, that's actually it. Without heading on into a warp panel, there's not much else that we can do. So, I think now's about as good as time as any to call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play, let's go, Eevee! We continue onward through Silphco. 
as we battle our way up through the tower. There's still a lot of Team Rocket grunts and scientists that are working for Team Rocket that inhabit this space now. But, with a little bit of, well, battling, we should be able to make our way up to the top floor and eventually get around to using these warp panels. So until next time, everyone, take care.